Hello, Captains, and welcome back to more coverage of Victory is Life expansion in Star Trek Online. So in the past, I have done The Swarm, the new SDF or PvE content for Victory is Life. It allows you to get gamma marks. I did The Swarm under normal difficulty. I will put a link in the top right corner. You can check that out. But now it's time to try The Swarm in advanced difficulty that's right we're going up a step gonna do it in advanced now just like uh every other one have done i'm just gonna pug this and you should also note that i have not repeat not played this in advanced mode yet so this will be a first time playthrough in advanced mode of the swarm so you're going to see it live right now what the advanced run is like for me. I will say though, I have played the normal run several times, so I am aware of the, um, the requirements, what you're supposed to do in each phase. Uh, I will be playing today on my Defiant. This is a tier five U. It is the tactical escort refit or retrofit, I should say, tier five U. And I am using quad phaser cannons, dual heavy phaser cannons, beams in the back, 360 degree beams. So it's a combination of cannons and beams. And it is all Mark 15 epic gear, except for the experimental weapon. But all of it, everything else is Mark 15 epic. And all the mastery is unlocked on the tier 5U Defiant. So that's what I will be flying with today it's very deep space nine themed this whole victory of life is life is of course deep space nine themed and so i'm trying to keep to that theme by flying the defiant and i am on my character ensign ricky who is an engineer so that's it that is what is going on again i'm hugging this oh there it is i was wondering when it was going to pop so I am, well, see, that's what I don't like about this new Q system. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know, it's really weird. Had to hit it twice there, and then who knows when it's even gonna launch, you know? It could still take a while, I don't know. Hopefully this will go pretty good. Again, I'm pugging it, so this could go really terrible. So here's the deal, if this run turns out to be like really terrible, I'm not gonna show it. I will do it again and record it again until I get a, a, a good enough run to put on camera. Um, so if you see a cut, I will uh, talk about that and explain that that's what I did. If not, this will just be a one continuous video. So let's let's find out how this goes. The Herc are We're not going to read the dialogue, already familiar with that. Um, basically, this first phase, very important to uh, send power to the Dominion ships. That's what we want to do. So I'm going to make sure that all the Dominion ships get powered up. And you don't have a lot of time to do it. So I'm going to cloak and I'm going to fly right. And I'm going to start over in this direction, working from right to left. And make sure that I power all the ships. Again, we're in advanced mode, so this is going to be a little more difficult. I'm also bringing up chat in case people, you know... Uh, need to talk to each other, <laughs> which can be a thing. All right, where is the first ship? Uh, let's go over here. It does uncloak me, unfortunately, but... Ah, crap. That's what I was afraid was going to happen. Hard to send power when you're being overrun.
that's the part that sucks there is that you can't send power while you're being attacked so of course you end up not being able to do it but we but other people are doing it so that actually helps <laughs> If you are doing it by yourself, it can be troublesome. I only got like two ships there or something, so... Yeah, definitely you need the help of other people to get this done. Okay, we got them all. We got them all. Good team. A good team. Yes. Yeah, without, with, without the team's help, that would not have been possible. I could not have done it on my own. So you definitely need... The time is very short for that phase. So you definitely need the help of your team. Or you're not going to get those those things done. Luckily, there's only four satellites. Those, those satellite is back are online. better. It will launch tractor mines against the Herc ships. We, we already got him. Okay, great. Okay, good. Yes, thank you, team. So with a good team, you can see how this can work really well. You really do need your team to be firing on all cylinders in advanced mode here, because otherwise you're not going to get the phases done unless you have a good team. Okay, now we've got the last phase going Head on here. ship spotted at escape route Gamma. Get over there. I'm going to Gamma. good we got, I got a good team here on my back so that really 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 helps telling you what makes a big difference Spotted at escape route Gamma. Get There's over there. The dreadnought.
Head to escape route Beta. Protect the refugee ships. Evacuation. All lanes will be utilized now. Perk ship spotted at escape route Gamma. Get over there! Escape Route Alpha. Protect them. Spotted at escape route Gamma. Get over there! Man, there's a lot of them. <laughs> Jeez. Wow, that was a lot. <laughs> that was just a lot. and escape route Gamma. That's Get everyone. over there. We did what we could. Hopefully wow. the Herc Swarm will focus their next strikes on an uninhabited world. So here's what we got. We powered up the nine Jem'Hadar ships and at first. We fixed the four satellites. We escorted 18 refugee, refugee ships to safety. Earned 52 points. Let's get my rewards. I got 191 gamma marks there. I got my germanium carapace. So all that. So there you go. That is an advanced run of the swarm. Honestly, it's not difficult as long as you have a good team. You do get a little overwhelmed during phase three, especially at the end of phase three. There's just so many Herc going down each lane 
that they just swarm literally all over you and it is hard to deal with. Um, that's why I recommend for this a STF a lot of AOE stuff, area of attack stuff. You want fire at will for beams. You want um, a cannon scatter volley. You want torpedo spread. Um, but these tractor mines that you launch from these satellites here, these are also really helpful. That's why it's very important to, to get those four satellites running because you can launch these tractor beam mines and they will help hold the swarm of Herc. So it's real important to, you know, power up those nine battleships in the first phase and then get the uh, satellites healed because all that helps you for phase three. And you need all that help. And if you have a good team on your back, look at all these mines I can deploy. When you have a good team on your back, you can succeed in doing all that under the advanced version or advanced difficulty of this STF. And it makes it a lot more fun. So... If, you, if your team doesn't know what they're doing and you see people in your team not doing what they should be doing, number one, let them know in the comment section very kindly how to play the SDF and what they need to do during each phase. And then second, uh, go do the stuff yourself. If you don't see people healing the ships at the beginning or healing the satellites, uh, go do that. Go do it yourself. You may have to. And um, make sure all that stuff is done. And then with a good team, uh, working on each thing, doing, taking out as much, as many hercs as they can. You'll have a good run like that, and it's a lot of fun. But there you go. That's the advanced difficulty of it. And uh, now you see what that's like and what that's all about and how to play it. And it's just a lot of fun. I actually like the swarm. It's quick, it's short, and it's fun. And I think that's what you need from an STF or a PVEQ content. You don't want it to last a long time. And often some of the new content they've created for these things have been awfully long, especially the new battle zone. I also did a playthrough of that. It's very long. I like these shorter STFs. I like them when they're shorter like this. Just quick fun, get in, do your thing, get out. And earn your marks and get your care paces so you can buy the stuff in the reputation store. That's what it's all about. A lot of grinding, but I think that can actually be fun as long as it's not too long. And I think they got the time just right on this STF. I like this swarm. I, I do like it. Um, and it's really not that difficult in normal or advanced. So there you go. That's it. Another new piece of content to explore in Victory Is Life. So go out there and have fun. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.